Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a sketched logo effect in Adobe Illustrator. So you can see on screen we have a logo. This is a design that I did for a travel company several years ago and it's all finished, all singing, all dancing, lots of colour. We're going to be working backwards. So we're going to take this finished design and we're going to take it back to as if it was a sketch. And we're going to do that all within Illustrator. So this particular design, if I go into outline mode, that's command or control Y, you can see we've got lots of different segments. First step is we're going to combine this all into one shape, so no individual segments. So let's drag over the whole logo design. And if you're using the Shape Builder tool in a newer version of Illustrator, you can of course drag through all of the different segments and it will unite that into one shape. If you are using the Pathfinder tools over here, and you select Unite, that's the top left option, it will do the same thing. If you do get any problems like this, where it doesn't properly turn that into one shape, just select the Direct Selection tool and click anywhere along this line. Hit Delete or Backspace, click off your shape, click back on that line and hit Delete or Backspace again and there you go, problem solved. Sometimes it's just a case of using the direct selection tool to figure out if there are any stray anchor points and if there are, just get rid of them. Cool, so command or control Y to come back out of outline mode and we have our shape. Now at the moment this has a fill, so let's select that and swap this over here. So we have no fill and we have a stroke. And we're going to set the color of the stroke to black for the time being. And then we can change the weight to one, or we'll leave it set as one for now. Now this is the fun part because we're going to apply some kind of cool brush effects. So select your shape and go over to the brush panel on the right. If you don't have that, just go up to window, down to brushes. And we have a few default ones here, but we're going to load some more. So from the menu icon at the top, go down to open brush library and we have lots to choose from. And you can select other library and load in your own custom brush set if you have one. So let's start with artistic and let's just pick chalk charcoal pencil and it will load all of these fantastic looking brushes up in a separate window let's just move those over there and we can also select the other categories from down here or we can use these arrows to move through the categories nice and quickly so you can see lots and lots of different brush styles we're going to be focused more on these artistic ones so we have our logo and it might be worth just creating a copy at this point to experiment or keep a copy of your original logo before you start applying all these brushes. So just hold Alt, Shift and drag to the left. That can be our backup over there. Okay, so let's select our logo and we'll just pick one of these. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. That's probably a little bit full on for what we need. We can actually bring the stroke weight down so we get a bit more of a uh, more kind of believable sketch effect that isn't too over the top. So there we go, that looks pretty cool. We can zoom in. That's looking uh, pretty sketched in my opinion. So we can go edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And just nudge this out with the arrow keys. And maybe we could apply another one. So you can see this one here, we've got that 0.1 stroke, it's probably a bit too thin. But if we bring this up, you can see there that it changes, so we could go for, for 1. And we can actually give this a colour, so we don't want everything to be black. We're going to get some greys in there as well. Remember, we are trying to simulate a sketched effect. So unless it's been inked, the pencil isn't going to be properly black, unless you're pressing like really, really, really hard. Okay. And again, we're just going to nudge that top one out and possibly make make this one a bit lighter. So we're going to get a few different shades of grey in there just to kind of reinforce the kind of uh, that, that sketched effect. So we've got some lighter strokes, some darker strokes, which is kind of how sketching kind of happens, you know. And you can also use the transparency panel to adjust the opacity as well as using all of these different shades of grey here. So let's make this one a little bit darker and let's go to edit copy edit paste in place we'll use the arrow keys to nudge this one out 
And let's go to a different category. So we'll go along and we'll pick one of these. Let's see what else we've got. Something like this. So we can nudge that back in. Now, of course, that's a little bit too thick, but we can go and bring that down to 0.5 and we could make that a little bit lighter. So it's really kind of subtle. And we can just go edit, copy, edit, paste in place. We do that a lot in this tutorial and just darken that up. So at the moment, I think we've got about four different versions of this, all with different brush effects, different weights, slightly different colors. So we're really trying to build this up so it feels a lot more, I guess, random. You know, when you when you draw with a pencil, everything isn't perfect like it is with the logo at the beginning. You're going to get those kind of strokes. You're going to press down harder, sometimes lighter other times. So we're trying to really kind of make this look as not computer generated as it can be, even though we are actually creating it on the computer. Okay, so we've got so we've got a pretty good version there. Let's just move him all the way out of the way. And you can play around with this until you're happy. So that's looking pretty sketched, I think, in my opinion. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply some lines. So we're going to pretend that we added some guides when we sketched this out. And we're going to simulate this by using the pen tool. And we're going to click up here somewhere. And we're going to follow the lines. Now, if you've got a logo that's got curves in it, you can, of course, use circles for this as well. So in fact, let's put these on separate layers. So we'll select our logo by dragging over it and we'll go to edit, cut, open up our layers panel and create a new layer. And if we go edit, paste in place, and we'll just type logo sketch. So we've got that logo on a separate layer. We'll drag that underneath and we'll lock it just so we don't select it by mistake. And we'll call this top layer lines. And this has got our line on it. And of course, because a lot of this logo is very angular, we can hold down Alt and Shift, left click and drag this over. So that angle is exactly the same. And for the other side, we can select both of these lines, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, object, transform, reflect, and reflect that vertically. Now this is all kind of very perfect. This is a very perfect way of doing it. You can do each of these lines manually. There's nothing wrong with that. And it probably helps create that uh, less digitized computer effect if everything is a bit more random. So lots of different ways and however you choose to do it is entirely up to you. So for these horizontal ones, I'm just using the pen tool. You can use the line tool if you like. The important thing is to hold shift so it's perfectly straight although as i just said if you don't want to hold shift and you want it to be kind of a little bit uh, a little bit rough around the edges a little bit messy then you know that's totally cool as well now this angle here i'm not entirely sure what angle that is so i'm just gonna have to guess and you can see there i missed the line completely straight through the middle but that's fine the angle is right so i could bring that down and hold alt and shift and drag that up and hopefully I've not missed out any of the lines. I think there we go. That's pretty much all of them. So I can switch off the sketch and that's what the, uh, the kind of guides look like. So now I can drag over this. Remember, we've got that logo sketch layer locked. So no worry of selecting that by mistake. And we can change the color of the stroke. So we're going to make this really light. These are going to be our pencil lines. So we want them to uh, be a lot less obvious than our actual logo so we're going to go for something really really light and you can leave these like this or you can go and apply those same brush effects and then drop that weight down again so you can see if i zoom in it kind of fades out a little bit here towards the end and then i can lighten that even more Yes, yeah, so really subtle there. And we could even zoom in. And in our stroke panel, we can select dashed line. And we'll just drop that dash down from 12 to 6. 
and you can see we kind of get that dashed line effect. So it depends entirely what you're going for in terms of style, but there's a lot of options there to play around with for the strokes. So you've got the brushes, you've got the colors, you've got the weight, and you've even got the dashed line effect. And I can actually just select over that and make this a tiny bit thinner. So in the stroke weight, you can go into the decimal point. So if one, two or three isn't doing it for you, you can go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and you can go even further into that 0 0.15, 0 0.25, just to get that weight exactly right. And there we go. That's how to create a sketch logo effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.